and welcome back. We are, you know, we went to take Albania, but I sort of missed the part where they were part of NATO. I should know, seeing as I have played as Albania in NATO. But, never mind. Okay, so we have more men here. We want them to double up on, uh, double up on this front here. And we'll give them the uh, invasion plan to take, you know, from Danzig all the way down along. Yeah, slightly different so I can see the line, I guess. Like so. You know, hopefully NATO will s continue to be stupid and just leaving their lines all over the place. And then we'll just march in and take everyone else. Simple. They reckon they can win up there. Lots of people reckon they can win all over the place. Here we have Russian tanks going everywhere. Russian, stop garrisoning your land and start, you know, getting people on the front lines against NATO. Just do it. Get your men on your front lines now. Okay, since they're part of another group, we don't actually need to be uh, doing anything over here anymore. Mongolia, do you ever have an army? Two divisions. Two whole divisions. Well, India's who we want on our side. We want India. Look at that reactionary. Reactionary nation must join us. Leopold Colin, join us. Do it. No, you want to. Yeah, socialist country, eh? Socialist. Ay, ay, ay. Shock and awe now exists. Terrific. So we'll be wanting... Have we already got best artillery? Yes, we do. Anything else this way for production? Uh, still a little bit far ahead. Nothing else here we care about. Land Dodger is done. Artillery is done. Armor. We could get better tanks, but I don't see any need. Better shovels. Everybody has shovels, so we may as well give them better shovels. Good. Good. Yeah, shame I don't give about this, but if you're part of NATO, that means we need to watch your... What's your aggressions? Okay. So we annex. Is this gonna show me what's going on? Right, we annex Montenegro, then we scrap to take Serbia as a puppet. Puppet Serbia. That's why we'll go conquer. Or if dinner, so it doesn't matter, just go for it. Then, we justify to take Bosnia. Shouldn't take more than 25 more days. Then we'll wait on everyone else. Very good. My Marines can handle it still. From Russia, please. Good. We can get out our air forces. We can get them around. Bear them. Generation 3 bombers, eh? Let's so get our bombers into Paris. And we'll get some multi rolls into Paris. Multi rolls, multi rolls, multi rolls, multi rolls, multi rolls. 132 multi rolls, sure. And all of you guys, or strategic bombers, let's get off the screen for a bit. There's Belgium, and there's the Rhineland. Okay, we want all of you over the Rhineland. This is where we'll try to be. With them. Okay, other air force. Not near the coast or the other front line. Okay, you guys. The Borog. 400? That's more than 400. We want 400 only. That's the wrong button again. Fuck. This one. 400 planes. Want them also over the Rhine. 
to do their thing. Very good. Then we want this lot here. You can have the rest of them, I think. Have the rest of the multi rolls. They're going to be going over Belgium. Very good. Then we'll get the fighters. The fighters can come from here. They can go over Italy. Not many of these, they'll all die, but go over northern Italy to die. Close air support, very good. Then we should be able to nuke all of these areas from those air zones. We should. But we'll see later on. When the time comes. They are very powerful. It will take a lot of nukes to get through to them. Hopefully a naval invasion of Rome will do the trick. Of weakening them. Or southern Italy. Let's go upward. From here we'll go this way. Try to not all die. Tall order. What's really on a Belarus France? Or the Estonian France? Or the Finland of France? Those should all be winnable very easily. Uh, the <laughs> Kaliningrad France? Not so much. And the uh, these fronts over here, you know, we're trying. We've got lots of uh, infantry to just charge into Europe. The Swiss have got their support, which is good. Iberia should fall with uh, within minutes. That other group, don't know what they will do. They will get them to uh, go around here as well and try to push a bit further. Maybe? But we'll stick the uh, North Africans into this area. Just stick them all in. Yeah. I'm taking Montenegro, apparently. Try to get some stacks out of them, these guys. Some stacks out of you. Let's do them all individually and see how that goes. But more factories exist. What do we need? Looks like only light tanks. A lot of light tanks. 106 days. Ted artillery. 5 days. Multi roll fighters. A lot of planes required. Okay. We need more light tanks. Create them, please. Or at least to that level. We don't need you that many anymore. We do have a lot of uh, moisturized now, don't we? Yes, lots. Okay, so we need rubber. I know I've got a surplus of uh, steel. I'll not be putting it back, though, because I'll be needing it later. Russia, again, very good. Excellent. And I know I can be getting a lot of resources for free from other nations. The thing is, I don't want to. I want to be strengthening up Russia. I want them to take my factories and use it to build stuff. Which they are. They definitely are. Just not enough. Yeah, if we keep spreading them thin with all of our numbers, we should be able to destroy them. Should. Because they're only creating the generic units, and the generic units are weak. Sudan would be another good friend. If we wanted more friends, I don't think we do want any new more friends. Any more new friends, I mean. The Jews would be a good friend, but they are guaranteed by the US. The Jews. Are you reactionary Jews? Ah, uh, conservative. Was that nationalism? Islamist party. <laughs> yes, more friends would be good. I'm hoping if we get 50 aggress uh, 50 whatever again, we'll get the Indians on our side because they are strong at the very least they should be sending us volunteers instead of other people because they are the reactionaries so even a few divisions from them would be great just to help us out a lot 
Uh, we got Morocco, we got Egypt, we got Nigeria, we got the Swiss. They're good friends for now. Obviously, the United Kingdom and the US would have to fall to win a war. So we'll leave the UK over there. We have a much stronger navy, so hopefully, search and destroying around their land. We'll be able to keep them from landing troops anywhere. And then we'll do our own little invasion. We are creating lots and lots of ships. I don't know, there now. I should refer to there. Okay, let's get. Did we ever arrive on the east coast? Yes, we did. Take that with our lives. Okay, half of you, 67, you're going to be getting your own little commander. Paul Francois. I'm going to get you to search and destroy along the US coast and Canadian coast. Just try and keep them away. Or we can go all the way down here and create a big line. To try and siphon them out. Search and destroy along there. If we just like load the entire sea full of submarines we should be able to keep their reinforcements away at some level whoa Trump is popular well done Trump so only 100 divisions there we could take them out if we land on their country that's what you got to do you just got to land over there and take everybody out They're all suffering attrition. We're not. We don't have that issue, but they do. So we just leave them there to die. Or we'll nuke the hell out of them when the time comes. Right, your days. 63. Which means what head start do we have on Serbia? 41. Okay, Kosovo, justify war goal. To conquer Kosovo. Macedonia. That's why we to conquer Macedonia. Not yet. Wait on you. Okay, research slots. I want better stuff. If our men have better recon, they'll know better what they can and can't do. So they, they have attrition all over their own land. What the hell? I don't get that. Why do they? Just they're exercising. Yes. Exercise is something my African units over here should be doing, but we'll leave them all anyway. We'll leave them to their devices. They should be fine. Issue, however, the Norwegians. Very strong, all on one little area. Very strong indeed. Very, very strong. Yeah, we just need loads of ships everywhere to... Uh... Wait, didn't I have a third level of navy? No, two levels. Lots of fuel required. Fuel, fuel, oil. Here we go. Russia. Good man. Okay, so let's have a look. How long you want to take? 61 days. Excellent. We'll try to stockpile everything else. We've got lots of guns now, lots of artillery. Motorized, support equipment, heavy tanks. Yeah. <laughs> You've only got 34 organization though. Mind having more. You're just gunmen with artillery. I probably wanted to get rid of the artillery, but that never happens. We could get you more marines. More marines could happen, but organization 70, that's a lot of stuff. Let's double up your size, marines. I've got 80 organization. Brilliant. Okay, do it. Uh, Swiss mountaineers, you have artillery and a lot of guys. Moroccan infantry, a lot of guys. Maybe we could up you as well. Just make you a little bit stronger. And we have the Egyptians. Again, very strong. We'll leave you where you are. Nigerian artillery will leave you where you are. 
And we still have some guns left over. Crazy. Now we need steel. Give me the steel. We're about to actually uh, hit that max. We'll put these here again. Or in the first place. These guns there might be shit guns, but they do help us out a lot. Wait, where's my other gun factory? There's one gun factory. There should be another here. Where is it? That's the only gun factory I see. Dude, where are my guns? Uh, okay. Expand the Secret Service. Yeah, do it. Let's see what the Secret Service is made of. Let's see it. They are building quite good armies down here. Do you any concentration or want to conquer them? Leave him to it. Egyptians are only really doing navy stuff. Yeah, dude. We'll take over a Balkan ally and then, uh. Really, just prepare. Prepare to take you on the bad man, the, uh, the EU. Manpower is going down, but. In the fields! Look at all that. 3.14 million. In the field, a lot more. In training, I mean, a lot more. Yeah, dude. Lots and lots of soldiers ready to uh, fight the European menace. Really? How many divisions do I have? We have 396. They've got double. Or less than double. They've got less than double. And ours are probably stronger. That's what you got to think about. Then we've got like the Russians on the side. They might have GB and fucking Albania and the US, but what good's that when they're going to get destroyed by my navies, hopefully. We're building up a big air force to hopefully count them. Lots of stockpiled stuff as well. Lots more infantry equipment ready. Which is always useful for arming Africans. How's support equipment? Oh, lots of it. It's just light tanks. We do need to uh, save up a lot of light tanks to better ourselves later in life. Come on, Russians. Let's get on the border. Get your men over here. It's not just me fighting, it is you as well, Russia. World War Three will include you, I promise. They're doing a good job over here, but that's not where we need the people. We need people everywhere else. On the EU front. Okay, what I'll do for this episode, I'll see you guys next time. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.